Blog Talk Radio. Hi, and welcome to Conscious Talk Radio, and I'm your host, Linda Summers, and we've got a great show for you today. Our topic is video production tips for conscious business owners with Hans and Cindy. And before I bring them on board to the show, I would like to give you some background information about them. Hans has combined 23 years of acting and video production experience working with dozens of speakers, healers, and coaches in Hawaii and California, including the honor of filming the famous Dr. Emoto's International Conference in Honolulu. Cindy has over 12 years of marketing and branding experience from the corporate world working with companies like LA Times and Marriott. Together, Hans and Cindy have fused their genius zones of conscious business video production and marketing to grow a six-figure business helping successful heart-centered entrepreneurs to leveraging their time, becoming the authority in their niche, and attract new clients by global going global with video. And with that, I'd like to welcome Hans and Cindy to the show. Hi. Hi, Linda. Thanks for having us. Hey, Linda. Hello, everybody. Thanks for having us. Yes, thank you for joining us. This is... Um, you guys really, I love, the, in fact, that was going to be one of my first questions of how you guys really got together in doing this because you're bringing two um, sort of different worlds but into one world, which really has such a great blend, bringing yes, it all together. Yes, it is. I it's love It's really it. great, yeah. It's, um, I think, you know, as soon as I met um, Cindy, you know, I just knew I could never be away from her ever again the moment I saw her. <laughs> and it just it so happened to be that I was really great at production and the technical and getting into that side. And as I found, you know, learn more about Cindy and everything that she does and what she's passionate about, uh, we just found that the combination of the two was just an irresistible fit for ourselves and for people that we can serve. And so it's very organic, uh, natural process that happened. It was amazing. Aww. <laughs> it is so complimentary. You know what I mean? It really is such a beautiful blending. I like that. Very good. So when you guys talk about what do you mean by video your business in a conscious way? Because you talk about production tips for conscious business owners. What do you mean by that in a conscious way? So, yeah. So thank you for asking, Linda. That's such a great question. So there are, you know, there's been this traditional way of marketing for so many years, which is I like to call it kind of the masculine approach where you sell, 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 hustle, 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 push, 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 and you – You know, kind of if you think of like the way commercials are, they're a little bit intrusive to our Mm -hmm. life and to our minds. And they uh, subliminally program us to think that something's wrong with us. Whereas the conscious way of video marketing is that we help our clients to attract their ideal clients by specifically speaking to what the people want, what are their main challenges, and what is the solution. So we really come from a space of service, and we come from a space of being heart-centered and really caring about the people that we are, that we're reaching with video. So in the sense of conscious, so is bringing them is is that what you what you're referring to is helping the people that are viewing this video to have an understanding of this person that you're videotaping about bringing them into a conscious state of what they desire and what they want. Exactly. Yeah. It in it, in fact yeah, that's a great distinction to make. It's really both ways. Uh, the way that. The speaker, healer, business owner, entrepreneur markets themselves through the medium of video in itself is a conscious approach. In other words, how they Mm -hmm. market the video themselves, how they present themselves in the video, what they say, and 
on the receiving part, the second part is what you just said, Linda, is the listener or receiver of that video and presentation mm-hmm. in themselves become more aware, more conscious to what they're, what they really want or, and, and what they mm-hmm. can do about it. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. so in the end result is basically two people finding each other through attraction of the right energy and seeing if it's the right fit for each other and building that rapport, oftentimes without actually even seeing each other in person, that's the interesting part about video is, you know, it's like a a clone you make of yourself out there working and you don't have to feed that person, but they're out there. It's you, another you out there really connecting with someone and having a conscious conversation together in a leveraged, automated, natural, organic way. Which actually separates you, really what Cindy was saying, because the program, it is a programming thing, and the whole marketing thing is very aggressive, and where you guys are doing it very differently and bringing a very conscious spin to this to really allow the person to be able to um, come from their own of who they really are and attracting that person that resonates with them. So I, I think it's awesome mm-hmm. that you're mm-hmm. seeing the whole, really, consciousness of video production and how people are doing videos. So I think visibility is so important for people to see someone in their business as opposed to reading about them. Mm-hmm. So well said, Linda. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Oh, I think it's yeah, I think it's great what you guys are doing. So, you know, you talk about technology because, I mean, there's a whole lot of technology comes in that. So if someone's wanting to do a video, how can they you, – you mentioned about banishing technology overwhelm and going pro mm-hmm. with video. How can one banish this technology overwhelm? Because it is. It's a lot of stuff and, you know, all these things you have to think of doing. Yeah, so I love this question. It's like my favorite. (laughs) So, you know, what stops most people from handling this part of their sales funnel is it's it's the the overwhelm of, you know, what do I say in the video? How do I shoot Mm -hmm. the video? How do I make myself look like an expert and not like I'm just shooting a video in my kitchen with the cat in the background and... (laughs) You know, the sun and shining in a weird way. So, you know, a a lot of people get stopped up in this area. And then that's just the front part of it, right? And then the whole overwhelm really starts to happen in the editing process, which is takes hours upon hours upon hours to really craft a beautifully put together edited video that looks professional and really engages your audience. So really what what ends up happening is that most people just kind of avoid the whole thing. And mm-hmm. what we say is you don't have to be alone in this process. You don't have to suffer silently or in an isolated way. You know, reach out to the experts and reach out and get that support And let them handle that because you have a genius zone. You have a gift. You have a service. You have a message to bring to the world. But when you're bogged down with the technology of it, well, that drains your energy. It limits your capacity and it limits your impact in the world. So Mm -hmm. we really emphasize to our to our people, to our tribe, you know, (laughs) just reach out for the support and it's it's, it's so worth it. So when you say you, it's about like, because people don't know what to say, where, how, you know, how to shoot it. And, uh-huh. you know, they want to shoot it in their kitchen. You know, they want to have some place to shoot it. Do you guide them how, like in what to say? How does that all, what does that look like when you're actually working with someone? Do you have to do you have well, a thanks for asking. Yeah, so in other words, you want to know a little bit what it's what it's like for someone who wants to do video and works with a conscious, 
you know, production team such as ourselves or somebody else? Is that what you're asking? Yes, yes. What it looks like, yeah. So what it looks like is imagine yourself as a business owner and you just have a whole beautiful message. You want to get out to the world and you know video is one way to really accomplish that. And when all that overwhelm starts to step in, imagine it as this big burden that's on your back. Thousand pounds. And when you walk into our space or a conscious product any conscious production company I'd imagine, especially for us, it's like walking into a room and we pick that burden off of your back and hold it for you. We hold all that space of technology and allow you to just experience a wonderful sense of relief. And what we do is we guide you through the whole process. We do a whole preparation, wonderful getting ready for the videos. Camera presence is a big part of shooting videos. And that's one of our number one focuses from the start, is how do we really take who you are and let that essence shine on camera. And it's the technology and overwhelm that sometimes gets in the way of people being able to really express their essence on camera. And it is expressing your essence on camera that is going to authentically allow you to attract your ideal client because your ideal client is someone who resonates with you. Mm -hmm. And... So what it looks like when you work with us is that we allow the process to be one that is goes from overwhelming and burdensome to just a liberating, fun, absolutely awesome yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> we usually have... Go ahead. Oh, go, go ahead. ahead. No, 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 go ahead because I want you to finish that. Down. It's, it's just what we end up... Uh, taking people from confused, overwhelmed, to we are laughing on set and people mm -hmm. just having the greatest time and they just feel like everything is taken care of for them. And uh, it's just a beautiful, beautiful experience. Magical. Beautiful experience. <laughs> well, I want to mention something because when you mention it, because I know that you guys do something as well that kind of um, at different conferences, that helps to break up the in between. You just did something with Cindy and Brody, Auntie, excuse me, Auntie and Brody. So is that where this all really kind of comes in, where you guys just you have that ability to really help people relax? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and when you were, it's so funny too. Go ahead, sorry. Oh, I was going to say, because when you were speaking, what came to me is like, it's like being at a spa where you forget about mm -hmm. all the other stuff and you can just mm -hmm. relax, just get really into yourself. And that's really what I hear that you two are doing is allowing you have the space and that just allowing people to come in and just drop everything that their concerns, whatever, and you, you're really taking care of them and you know, doing all the things at a, at a spa like, but only it's in video and it's really bringing your business to a different um, platform, I don't even say platform, but a different um, space. And what also yes. comes to me is, too, yeah, is about when you were talking about bringing that person's essence and how it, you know, it, it attracts that audience and it, that when they resonate with that, my sense is what you two are doing, what you're talking about is really is the connection that this person, when you're videotaping them, you're bringing such the essence of them out that that's how people really want to work with someone because there's a connection, which is the same thing as resonance, but there's that connection that you're like, gosh, mm -hmm. I feel them. That's really what I hear you guys are doing through all this whole process of really having the fun and really being able to relax. So I love it. Beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, you guys are amazing. That's great. You were going to say something. I'm sorry I didn't mean to interrupt you. Oh, no, no, it's fine. I mean, you're speaking our language. We love this. This is, you know, and what's interesting is that a lot of times what people experience is a lot of our clients are, are 
speakers that speak on stages with hundreds and thousands of people. They fill rooms. They have six-figure, seven-figure events, and they're so great on stage. And then they think they're going to be so amazing on camera, and then they get there and they realize it's a completely different dynamic. They no longer have that back and forth between them and the audience to know, do people feel this? Are they feeling me? Do they like this? Um, are they resonating? Are they connecting? And so we uh, we really have to employ some, our clients call it our secret sauce, you know, like we have a little secret sauce. We have some warm-up <laughs> techniques. We have specific state change um, mechanisms that we use, like we follow Tony Robbins and we love these motivational performance experts and speakers and we use a lot of those similar uh, techniques so that we can help our clients get into state and truly connect mm-hmm. with themselves, with their higher mission, their higher purpose, and be mm-hmm. able to emote their feelings without needing to memorize the words and memorize um, you know, every little detail because we use teleprompters and in, in many cases when it's appropriate. And so we help them just focus on that delivery and that message and that their emotions and their state and and then that's where that's truly where the magic happens, Linda. Yes. I agree. So this is really for everyone because that was my next question. Is this really for people who are just starting? But it from what you just said, it's really people that have already out there speaking on stage and now they're wanting to take it to another level and really getting videos out there as well. So, this so is that's really for a really everyone. good question. So that's a really good question. And as you've seen, YouTube is the second largest search engine in, in the I mean, if you know if you didn't know this, you know, YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world and it's owned mm-hmm. by Google. And so mm-hmm. video is, you know, 70% of search engine traffic by next year will be video. So video is the way to go. And yes. what, we, what we recommend is if you have a professional image and a professional brand, your videos need to match your brand. You know, if you, if you are a professional who wants your videos to match the quality of your brand, we recommend going pro with video. But there are people who go the video blog route and then do the do-it-yourself approach, and that works for some people. And so it just depends on what is your brand, what is your image, and also what are your specific goals, which is what we help people to identify. We help them to see, like, is going pro with video your route, or do you want to set it up in your kitchen? Because, you know, there are people that do that, like people that, they have like cooking shows or whatever they sometimes set up in their kitchen and and so it really depends but primarily we work with people who have their branding dialed in their messaging dialed in they're ready to go pro and they're ready to take their business and their influence to the next level and having that container that professional video production container helps them to be seen as the expert that they are Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I agree because I think the video, the internet is 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 really the future that people are going to start doing everything. You know, that it's it's just another way that anybody can tap into you all over the world and view mm-hmm. what you. So I I agree. I think it's so important to, especially the visibility, because you really get to see the passion mm-hmm. with that person, and like you said, the emotions of you know that person of of. How, what they're saying and how they're saying it and all of that really makes a difference. Mm-hmm. So do you, Hans, do you have anything on what you'd like to say on that as well? Uh, I think uh, you women covered it really well. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think it's, you know, and I was going to ask the question, when would it not be the route for them? But you really pretty much answered that. Um, mm-hmm. that it's really for anybody who's really ready to step in front and really be seen and heard and really that's essence and um, really come, shine forth through what they really mm-hmm. are so passionate about and they want to share with the world. Mm-hmm. 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 
Can you give us any idea of how you, what you do to help people to relax and, and have them heal their relationship with the camera? Because you mentioned that's the number one thing that people struggle with. Because I know there's a lot of things out there that people talk about. It's like, oh, my gosh, I don't want to get in front of the camera. Or, you know, they're just afraid to uh, speak out in public, right? Or video, which sure. is still sort of public. Sure, now. sure. Yeah, thank you for that. Yeah, it's it's uh, the quintessential goal is to do exactly what you just said, Linda, is, is really to relax and heal that relationship with the camera. Um, and Because it's so ironic, and Cindy touched upon it, is people who are really successful and even talk in front of stages all the time, um, when all of a sudden they're in front of a camera and you're in a studio or some set, and you got all the bright lights on you and, you know, this big eye, the eye of the camera looking right at you. And, uh, you know, crew around and everyone's ready for you to go. Action! And all of a sudden, some people actually can't even get words out. And all of a sudden, everything breaks down. And it's an it's very ironic. Um, and so for one solid specific tip, as, as you asked, well, here's what's great about what we do. Um, I, I brought in all my experience from being a trained actor who had just a lot of amazing success in Hawaii as a lead uh, actor in full-length uh, movies and short films and indies and things like that. So I, I've spent a lot of my time. I was I actually started out getting scared to death in front of a camera myself. And so mm-hmm. one of the first things that we do and we're able to do just because of my experience is I know exactly how someone is feeling. And mm-hmm. so what I would recommend is someone who needs to heal a relationship with the camera or to feel more relaxed is the the biggest influence I've seen on people being able to heal that is having someone who can relate to them, who has been where they're at and has gone through the emo- the emotions that they're about to embark on themselves. And having someone there basically, in a sense, cradle you through this process. Because you yourself can be alone in your kitchen with a camera set up and you can try all day to feel relax and heal the relationship with the camera yourself, but you're going to start feeling goofy and like, what am I doing? And uh, someone who has been there and has started from the ground and worked their way up and to mm-hmm. hold your hand during that process and, and it's really the secret tip is having someone who's giving you real-time instant feedback, mm-hmm. real-time feedback and helping you make distinctions on the spot. And I, so what, what I've found, I can only speak from experience, what I've found is that having this personal relationship I developed with our professional clients of really knowing, like, how they're feeling, like the emotions they're feeling right there, then and there, and really just, holding their hand the whole way through. Um, I think having someone who can do that for you is the number one tip I could offer that would help you heal the relationship with the camp. Wow, I love that. Well, and you know, what comes up for me is that I think that what, if someone is working with you, and, and this probably will go into my next question of a strategy session, that is there a certain time frame that you have? Because if you get somebody in front of the camera, what if it takes them, you know, two hours or three hours or, you know, I don't know if there's a time frame that that they, that you have or something to help people heal that relationship or does that happen in a um, strategy session, which I was going to ask you guys if you – because um, we did put something in our description about that, that you were offering a video production strategy session as a gift. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. how does that, I know it's two different questions to ask there, but I feel that they kind of tie in in some fashion, and maybe they don't, but could you answer that? 
So, yeah, I, I, so the first question I want to answer is about, like, what's the time frame that you asked? So yes. we generally, you would be amazed. We kind of, we love this phrase. We call it timeline hopping. Whether they've been somebody who has had a lifetime of anxiety of speaking in front of cameras or being in front of cameras, or whether they are great and just want to be the best, uh, we help people go through transformations mm. in just just one day of filming with us. It, it happens fast when you know the right tools and the right techniques and you can adjust in real time. I actually want to give you a little secret of one of our techniques because this is so helpful. Uh, one of the things that we actually do when they are feeling really nervous and we recommend this is if they feel really nervous and, you know, done a lot of the warm-up and they're still kind of feeling that little nervousness, one of the things that is extremely helpful is in, when you're looking at the eye of the camera, you don't don't imagine that you're talking to a stadium of people at once. You are talking to one person, one person in that camera. And that one person mm -hmm. is who you are speaking to. You're not speaking to thousands and thousands of people. So that's one of the little, I wanted to give you that little tip for everyone who's, who's listening who might feel in front of the camera like, oh, my God, this is going to reach thousands of people. Everyone's going to see it. No, one person. Yeah, that really helps you relax. And yeah. I like that what Cindy just said is, you know, in a mm -hmm. single day on the filming day is um, an accelerated rapid transformation that mm -hmm. happens every single time it's happened. And another reason that I believe that uh, transformation happens on the your big filming day or VIP filming day is the preparation work that we do together yes. working up to it. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, it's a, it's like a stage. There's a few stages, but we break into pre-production stage, production, which is the actual filming day, and then post-production. And in that pre-production phase or stage, um, different things that we do, uh, coaching sessions and pre-production day, gets the mind and body prepped for your filming day, and then all of a sudden the rep, it all comes together as transformation just boom, just explodes and you just become this new person. It's, yeah. it's really rad. It's awesome. Great point. Um, that was, that's exactly right. Love it. I love that. I love that. Well, so could you each give a tip that you feel, because um, you gave really some really good ones, so kind of just to – bring the show to a close, if there's anything that you have that you really want to let them know, the listeners who are out there listening and they'll be watching the video, what tips, what other tips do you have to give them? I, I feel like we really captured a lot of the essence of what is important about video and Linda, you're really great at asking the right questions. I want to acknowledge you for that. And um, and really, it's like the one of the big things is, you know, when you're on video, it's like have a conversation. Speak mm. to people and connect with yourself. Connect with them and their challenges and their struggles. Connect with what they really want and give that to them. Be generous with your your solutions and, and give them who you really are. Um, another thing would be to just be yourself and and be mm. kind to yourself. That's a big one. A lot of us judge ourselves. We can't even watch our own videos we made. I know everyone has probably dealt with that where they're like, oh, my God, I can't even watch myself. I look so right. – I look fat or I look this or I look fat or I look mm. nervous or I said the wrong thing. I can't believe I said that. You know, and what we practice, which is a big part of the consciousness that we bring to the table, is we practice loving kindness. I, mm. I love personally loving kindness meditation. I love having mm. compassion for yourself and for ourselves through the whole journey because we're not trying to be perfect. We're just trying to help people. So, you know, uh, and, and become who we're meant to be. That's what we're meant to do. So, 
hopefully those were some helpful tips. Hansi, did you have anything you'd like to Yeah, I love all the lovey-dovey, <laughs> spacious, <laughs> cradling, <laughs> feminine energy you brought there, Cindy. This is why we're such a great balance. Now, I have another tip that's yeah. more on the masculine side, <laughs> which is this. I see that every single client we've had, just about every single one, has they have the hope or dream or goal to do their videos on their to-do list for months, if not years. Mm-hmm. And it's something that we keep putting off because of the overwhelm or it just seems confusing or there's an actual anxiety around it in some cases. And what we've seen over and over again, when we get the videos done, when when a client, when a business owner, a healer, a speaker finally gets their speaking, their speaker reel done, or they get their signature video done, and it's finished, they have such a sense of of pride. They feel so proud of themselves because they know it's something they need to do. They see everyone else doing it. In the past, it was all about, like, if you don't have a website, you're, like, people aren't going to take you seriously. Well, today, websites are given, but it's like if you don't have a video, people don't take you mm-hmm. as seriously, or if you do, they'll they'll choose you over someone else because they can trust you and they build rapport with you instantly, mm-hmm. even if you're not actually physically there. Mm-hmm. And so, thank you my you last so tip, much. Yes, yeah. uh, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you for your what you do out in the world to help people and bring this conscious video production and to the world. So I really, really appreciate that. Thank you. Can we give, thank you, Linda, and can we give a gift to your audience to thank you for being on our show? I would love that. Yay. So one of the gifts that we'd love to give is actually, and if it's a right fit, and actually an hour of, of my time where it's what we call is a video production strategy session and it's valued at $350. And what we do is we actually have a one-on-one conversation. We deep dive what are your goals with video? What do you want to accomplish? And what are some of your specific challenges you're dealing with? And and then we explore. So we give you some resources and we help you move you along your path and explore even if it's a good fit to work together. And uh, so I believe we gave you the link there so you can you can – Click on the link and schedule it, and and we'd be able to have a conversation and help you out to get your videos done and give you resources, give you advice, maybe even just encouragement, uh, whatever works Mm -hmm. for you where you're at in your business. So we wanted to give that gift. Thank you so much. That will be on the video as well in the description. So we're just out, out of time. So thank you guys so much for being on the show. I really appreciate it. It was awesome. And thank you for all the listeners who are out there who joined us today and the ones who will be joining us via YouTube. We thank you. Please follow, subscribe, comment, and like us. And you can join me next week for the next show, Becoming Spiritually Self-Reliant with Nicola Sherlock. Thank you, Hans. Thank Thank you you so much, Linda. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.